Hi, welcome back to our channel. Uh, we are going to analyze this circuit. Uh, and there is this problem statement that we want to solve. So it says in the voltage regulator shown below, VT is the uh, VI actually, this is VI is the unregulated voltage of 15 volts. So right here is uh, 15 volt. We have to assume that uh, base emitter voltage of the transistor is uh, 0 0.7 volt. So here is the base and the emitter. Here is the base and the emitter. So that's 0 0.7 volt. And the base current IB is negligible for both the BJTs. So BJT1, BJT2, they have negligible base current. So the current that flows through the base pin of this transistor is assumed to be zero. Now they say if the regulated output voltage V0 is nine volt. So here it's nine volt. We have to find the value of R2 and R2 is given right here. So we can see that this is a circuit of voltage regulator, a simplest simplest form of a voltage regulator circuit consisting of BJT and you got the Zener diode uh, here as well. So how to solve this problem? We have to find the value of register R2 here. So what we do, if we see that the Zener diode VZ is 3.3 volts, so obviously as soon as the voltage across this diode will be greater than or equal to the breakdown voltage of this diode, which is 3.3 volt, the diode will conduct the current from cathode to anode and there'll be this constant voltage across it. This voltage plus this voltage VBE that that would that's we just said which is 0 0.7 voltage will mix up the total voltage across this resistor will be 4 volt so 3.3 .3 volt plus 0 0.7 volt so let me write here you got the 3.3 .3 volt here you got the vbe which is 0 0.7 volt so total voltage is coming right over here which is uh, vz plus, uh, let me write here, Vz plus Vbe, which is 4 volt, okay, 3.3 .3 plus 0 0.7. So now at this node, we have got the 4 volt, and uh, we need to know the current through the register. If we do so, we will get the value of register, which is basically R2 equals to this 4 volt divided by the current IR2. Now, what is the current IR2? So we'll say that this is IR2, that's the current flowing. There is a current here. Uh, we are applying the KCL at this node, that is Kirchhoff's current law. So IB here, uh, which has to be assumed to be zero because uh, base current is negligible as say. So for simplification, we can say IB is zero. Now there is one more current coming from this nine volt supply through this register R1. So obviously this IR1, let's say IR1 will be, let's say VO, which is nine volt divided by the value of R1. So nine divided by one K, it's a nine milliampere current. So, uh, and here you got the four volt, right? here forward. So now, uh, since IB is negligible, we can say that IR1 is equal to approximately equal to IR2. And we have got the value of IR2, we know the value of voltage. So RT, R2 therefore would be 4 volt divided by uh, 9 milliampere. So you have to calculate uh, how much that comes out to be. Let me calculate that. So that comes out to be 2.25 uh, kilo ohm. Let me write here 2.25 kilo ohm. So that's the value and that's the answer. So this is how you can actually simplify uh, the circuit analysis by applying simple equations and simple basic laws such as Kirchhoff's law of current, Kirchhoff's law of voltage, etc.
other things we can see that there is this uh, collector terminal of the pin there is this emitter pin and the voltage drop across this transistor will be 15 minus 9 volt that is 6 volts so here is the 15 at the collector at the emitter you got the 9 volts therefore 6 volt will be the drop here of course here you have like uh, minus and plus that is your vbe right here okay and uh, yeah, so that, that's how you, you see also that uh, this current that will flow from this IR3 can also be calculated. Okay, so hope you found this video informative and the content useful, which is helping to solve the circuit problems. You can share this with others and stay tuned for more engaging content like this. Till then, wish you happy learning.